from now, I have decided it as a flight to write poems about all of the elements in the periodic table. Good, I'm going to make it like a science lesson. I don't know where this idea came from, but um, I was going to do a bunch of them, and only one of them retains the assistance of another man over there. So when he has everything set up, this is what um, he is going to join me and have some have some champagne. <laughs> this is touching cobalt. <laughs> we toasted our anniversary with cobalt blue champagne glasses after we looked over the cobalt and tungsten wedding bands. It seems fitting since I'm so attracted to you and your cobalt blue eyes. How we seem to so we both drawn to cobalt, one of the most magnetic elements. I heard a physicist explain that when two solid objects are pressed together, they never actually touch. Now, I can't imagine it, but maybe because electrons repel all objects remain one molecule apart. That must be why whenever we embrace, I need to hold you tighter and tighter. Because I want to defy the laws of physics and feel that contact with you for as long as humanly possible. Because right now, what I'm thinking is that when it comes to tungsten with its 27 protons and 32 electrons all wound tightly together in this strong nuclear force, its nucleus, its binding energy is so strong that it only breaks apart once it's broken down into its isotopes. It won't break apart in its pure form. Kind of like us, I suppose. Uh, we seem to be so drawn by physics. Physicists say that solid objects can't ever actually touch. And I'm sorry, but when it comes to us, that just can't be. Because I want to experience you with all of my senses. I want our molecules to intermingle. I want us to actually touch. Do a bunch of short ones, and he's not my assistant in any of us. This is. <laughs> no, he's not joining me. But I love you. This is number 83 of the periodic table. Bi. This is Bismuth. I heard NASA scientists say that Albert Einstein dismissed some of his theories. That, that Einstein didn't like some of his theories because he thought they weren't beautiful. And it makes me wonder, what is beauty? Is it how the silver pink hue of bismuth tarnishes into an iridescent oxide perfecting colors from soothing pink to bright yellow to deep blue? Einstein believed the most beautiful thing we can experience is the mysterious. It is the source of all art and science. And scientifically, no other metal is more naturally diamagnetic than bismuth. I know, I know. Bismuth is diamagnetic. It's not the magnetism of bismuth that causes the aurora borealis in the Earth's magnetic field. But trust me, from what I've seen, no other element can naturally produce such an awe-inspiring, brightly rainbow-colored stair-step crystal. So, we ask, what is beauty? They say that beauty is in the eye of the beholder. So, it makes me wonder. I wanted plants around. She always had plants around. Everything thrived with her. Ever since she died, my home has become a jungle. Let me have control over this. And let me add water nearly daily to the plant I bought when I visited her or to the tree she gave me years ago. Add plant food to the water because I don't want anything to die from the dead leaves because they would remind me that even nature misses her. More, keep the plants near the windows and they, they need their light and their manganese needs it for the chlorophyll production. Uh, I should stock up on manganese plant supplements because actually their manganese assimilates the carbon dioxide in photosynthesis. So breathe in our carbon dioxide and give me more of my precious oxygen so we can realize how we depend on each other so. 
I'll make sure you get everything you need. I'll make sure nothing happens to you. grocery store. The man sees, um, the, the attendant sees a man waiting in the car. He looks tense and angry. The attendant looks at the woman. Marlboro's is all she said. The attendant glances at the car and then looks at the rows of cigarettes set stacked on the counter. The woman says, uh, it's for my husband. The attendant asks, which kind? And the woman answer mightily says, Red. The attendant reaches for the package. The attendant thinks that even though there is more of the poisonous cadmium in the food that we eat, the cadmium is easily absorbed when you breathe it in through these smokes. Studies have even found links between cadmium and cancer, the attendant thinks. So the attendant looks at the woman, hands her the cancer sticks, and thinks, you've probably already paid for this. The cadmium is used for pigments or nickel cadmium batteries, but smokers get four to five times more cadmium in their body than others, and two to three times more cadmium in their kidneys. The woman closes her purse. The attendant closes the register. Give it time, was all the attendant thought as the woman left. Thank <laughs> you. 